Why can't we have rain effects for random pub? Or snow effects? That would be great. We can't. No room for mistakes. The Blitz Traeger is our priority, but it's shielded. Uh! Destroy the Sentinels and take out the generators to disable it. Then we charge. They talk a lot during the match. <laughs> I mean, I like the lore, but they talk a lot. Holy crap. So basically, it's the same mode, but you get three generators to play around with, rather than two. So, a little bit more difficult for the Waffle Trigger aspect, but you do have the Hyperion. And what's funny is the Hyperion, or the Particle Cannon, is a win more weapon. So, the more you kill, the better you get the Hyperion stuff online and obviously destroy the cap circle with it, but that's practically it. You get to use it like once per battle or at least twice if you're good, but yeah, once is probably enough. So if you have a good team, then this mode is a cakewalk. If you have a bunch of tomatoes running around trying to shoot the Waffen Trigger with the shield up, then yeah, tough titty. Real tough titty. It's fine, the rewards are still good enough. It's a practice mode for your shooting. It's okay. It's not half bad. Somehow I'm missing with the object on 40, but whatever. <sighs> Vertical stabilizer is not a thing for these modes. Oh well. It's not a bad mode, but it's a tradition now. It's a fourth version of the Wi Fi trigger stuff. So they tweak it every year, but. You get an explosive shell now with the object on 40 instead of the single shot high damage that goes to the TVP T5051 now. But, eh, it's okay. It's a Maho player too, so he's getting stomped. <laughs> so, the more you clear cap circles, the better chance at you capturing them afterwards. You get three, they don't reset as per original design and you don't get this weird overload or recharging time too so it's a little bit more simpler playing the Harriers but you have to play pretty aggressively when trying to kill the Sentinels or the bots and avoid the Waffle Trigger at all costs until the shields are practically down so eh. I mean, overcharging the shield also damages the Waffen Trigger too. Okay. So make sure you hover your cursor around the bottom of your queue to get into the Waffen Trigger for free. So if your queue is too long, you get an opportunity to play as the Waffen Trigger without the keys. It's like with last year too. Also, last time I don't think repairing the or recharging or overloading the generator will repair the vehicle with full health unless that's a little bit different for this year so Harriers are more buff in a sense I don't know so when you're playing the Waffen Trigger they'll go into the middle of the open you'll get lit up ow also they disable the super weapons or the perks like the EMP shot or the static field when your shields are down or unless that's different when I played last time huh I mean when I was playing the Waffle Trigger last year's it was a lot simpler and you are more effective at dealing damage but maybe they nerfed the Waffle Trigger in a, in a sense I don't know what the hell <laughs> The lightning effects are pretty nice too. I mean, it's not a cheap ass JPEG, so that's a plus. Ah, it's a yearly tradition now. Well, thankfully, we get Murney 13 back instead of Halloween Sister anime, not anime thing. Alright, fine. Come on, Object 140, you're missing all your shots. <laughs> So as you can see, if you're doing poorly in the Waffen Trigger, you don't use the Hyperion. <laughs> oh, 
You need to kill stuff to use the Hyperion. This Waffen Trigger only killed one person. So, yeah, you have to kill stuff to use the Hyperion, and therefore, if you're sucking, then, or if the team is way too goddamn good, you're getting swarmed and getting your face kicked in, then, yeah, you're not using the Hyperion. It's a win more perk, so like a kill streak, practically, but they'll probably tweak it next year, hopefully. <laughs> You still have your teleport, you still have the EMP arrow. I think they nerfed the EMP arrows um, reload time too. From like 7 or 8 seconds to 12 or something, but... Ah, whatever. So just play this game for funds, for target training practically, or shooting training. But, meh. Ow. Flash damage on the. It turns your gun into a artillery round practically. So there's no resetting of the cap circle or the generators too. So the waffle trigger could originally went back to the generator if you destroy all the target in the generator zone and reset or something, but you can also get a circle buff. Thing? I don't know. It's, it's all confusing. <laughs> it's a wall of text for the description of this mode. skin does this effect in random pub, I think it will, lot, it will be a hell of a lot better, right? With the lightning coming out of it, but no. No, not really. Yeah, the guy didn't even use a Hyperion. <laughs> he only got three kills out of the whole match, so... Tough titty. <laughs> Holy crap. It was a good team, it was a hell of a good team, but... Alright, let's do the Waffle Trigger. <laughs> So make sure you have a mod to turn on replays for special game events or event game mode. Otherwise, they won't record. You think I'll let you touch my precious generators? Such foolishness. I will crush you. Alright, you'll see how good the Harriers have been buffed from the initial mode. So you'll see how good they swarm you if you don't keep them controlled or occupied. But they will take out three cap circles or three generators now instead of two. What the hell was that? <laughs> it's a bad start for me. <laughs> it's a terrible start. All my shots are missing, what the fuck? Such a bad start when I think about it. Oh, jeez. Oh, they don't show you where you teleport? Or the special kill streak mode screen? Alright. He's uh, tunnel visioning. You can shoot the tower to reset with the EMP arrow, as per usual, like with the same old mode originally. Also run away when your shields are down, right? But your victory is far from guaranteed. Prepare for a reckoning. The shields disabled. This is our opening. Attack now with everything you've got. Oh. 
Oh yeah, they did disable all the kill streak or the EMP arrow, the static fields. They disabled it originally when the shields are down. Huh. I mean, you still have your main gun, but. I think the batch head might be the most optimal. It's the fastest out of all of them, obviously. But the pattern is still pretty much outclassed in every aspect. I mean, it could take two hits usually, but the pattern's good at dealing with the bots. So you could take a few hits from the bots, but. Uh, it depends. It really does depend on the actual map and the player. Having three generators is so hard to defend. <laughs> Two is very somewhat simple, right? You just go to one or the other. You teleport from one to the other. Having three is kind of difficult. You have to chase them. You have to chase them away from three of them. <laughs> so that's where the Hyperion comes in. But if you have been losing, then you're not using the Hyperion. I'm only at forty-two percent with the Hyperion charge. So at max, you use it like once per battle, if you're good. Otherwise, you're not using it, period. <laughs> oh, he ran. Surprise! Oh, he has a shield. So, one kill gets you about 10% of Hyperion energy. So, you have to get 10 kills to use the Hyperion once. Yeah, you're probably using it like once at most per battle so if you cannot make it to reset then obviously hide in a corner <laughs> and we're going to hide and that heal all the stuff back <laughs> all the HP back I mean, it's still better than the gas fart collecting mode with the M MT-25? The Beetlebug light tank for the Russian. That was about like four or five years ago. I mean, the concept is about the same. You collect fart gas, you dump it into a generator thing. I didn't even play it that much. It's not even that good. But... Yeah. Concept is about the same. You just added the waffle trigger back because... Grill 15. Ick. Yeah, gross. Also, make sure you check which generator is being capped. I thought B was being capped. It was actually C. So, I, I'm stupid. <laughs> I could have teleported there too, but eh, I'm stupid. <laughs> you check it on top of your HP bar on top or on top of the screen you check it and see c is being capped instead of b being capped so all right Ow. so yeah this has been a bad start i mean <laughs> damage wise i've been scampering around <laughs> without that much damage but uh, they're focused on dealing with the bots which they should but now the shield is down, they should focus on dealing this, some of the damage to me, but they, they're still going for bots, so... Look! How? 600 from a Thunderbolt! Oh. 
Ah, shields. Always reload before you teleport. It's about the same time to teleport. I think? 10 or 5 seconds? You can ram! <laughs> that was a clutch Hyperion Particle Cannon. That was pretty clutch. Also, timer is bugged on the replays. Okay. Yeah, we're just going through the motions now. <laughs> The, the daily mission don't reset for the engineers or the Waffen Trigger. So you only get three missions for the Waffen Trigger. You get two keys out of it if you finish everything. But are two loot box keys for the large boxes. But that was a terrible shot. <laughs> but afterwards, the Harrier mission will reset. So continuously play the Harrier mission to collect for the main uh, reward track thing. I mean, it should be a lot simpler in the first few days to play the Waffen Trigger. It will be more difficult later on because people get used to the mode, get used to the rules and mechanics, right? So I think playing the Waffen Trigger initially will be a lot better, right? Theoretically speaking. He ran into the Waffen Trigger. <laughs> Max health damage. The shield does not protect you from ramming damage. So, okay. <laughs> what the hell is the little blue sword does? I have no idea. On the... Uh, the name tags. Like kills? Or damage? Or perk readiness? Hmm. <laughs> I'm a tomato! Oh, the shots are terrible! <laughs> Looking back on it, god damn, he sucks ass. <laughs> somehow I won. Somehow I won that. It was a bad start. It was a bad middle, but somehow I clawed it. <laughs> they were too focused on killing the bots and shooting me for some reason. I mean, well, there you go, folks. Have fun with the Waffen Trigger stuff. It's another year. I already have a video on it, like from last year and the year prior with the tips and stuff. It's about the same, just one more generator, so therefore. It's a nerf to the Waffen Trigger, it's a buff to the attacking team, obviously. But as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.